Lincoln Public Schools has installed vape detectors at one of its high schools to monitor when kids are vaping in the restrooms. Officials say the goal is to make students more aware of the dangers of vaping and try to reduce it inside the schools. Channel 8's Matthew Medlider has more on that. LPS officials say the number of vapes in their schools has tripled in the last three years. To determine who's using the devices, Lincoln East High School is running a pilot program with vape detectors in their restrooms. This is an epidemic of, of great proportions that we really need to address on multiple fronts. We have students all the way down to the elementary grades that are getting access to these devices, bringing them to school, um, using them with their friends in school and or selling them. Officials say it's not just unhealthy for kids, it's become disruptive to class. What we're finding out is they're getting addicted very quickly and they can't go very long without using that device. We're losing minutes in the classroom because those, those students who are addicted to nicotine need to get to the restrooms to, to use their device. Officials say the detectors can tell the difference between nicotine and THC from different devices. They can also single out those chemicals even if they're covered up by air fresheners or body sprays. When nicotine or THC is detected, administrators at the school will be notified. They'll then speak with the students who were in the restroom at the time. They say it's not just about catching and punishing students for using a vape, but talking to them about behavior, working with parents, and educating them on the dangers of vaping. I'm not sure we under, have fully grasped the addiction problems that they have with it. It really is a community effort, you know, both as a school, with the parents, and as well as uh, kind of the community organizations to help some of our young students kind of navigate, I think, and not either participate that or figure out if they are addicted, how to kind of get over those problems. The detectors are being paid for with $995,000 of the $1.3 million that LPS obtained in the class action settlement against Juul Labs. Each device costs $1,200 a piece, and so far there's 25 installed at Lincoln East. The pilot program will last until the end of the year before LPS decides whether to install detectors at all the high schools and even some middle schools. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News. And LPS will be holding a community awareness event on this on October 19th uh, concerning the dangers of vaping.